have had my um, wisdom teeth removed. As you can see, I have some swelling over here still. Um, but overall, I am feeling wonderful. I'm glad I don't have to worry about those problems anymore. They're done and over with. Um, but, of course, I have some amazing um, juice to spill. Um, I recently had a interview with one of my um, potential clients. And this was sort of a different experience for me because we're sort of going through my experience and the interview sort of went left field. And the reason why I'm sharing this experience with you all is to sort of um, give you hope and a different perspective on the things that you're facing in your life to get back to the story. Um, so we're talking all the good stuff and all of a sudden she just comes left field and she asked me this question about my life that has absolutely nothing to do with my resume. And I had to, um, dig deep and sort of, um, well not that deep cause I'm not that old, but, um, I had to, um, sort of relive those moments, those things that you, that we all like to forget. In my case, the homelessness, the jobless, the single parent, all of this stuff that I went through that I sort of try to put in the back, um, unless it's, it needs to be brought up to inspire someone. But it was the first time that something like that had ever been brought up. And I had to sort of prove my case, I guess, in a sense. Um, because she did not want someone who had not experienced the, experienced those hardships in life um, to try to influence um, someone to keep going or to um, stand on the ground of an encourager of someone who's facing similar challenges. So I say all that to say, if you are in a tough spot right now, um, don't count yourself out and don't allow others to count you out. In my case, my struggle was um, so that God could use me in this space to encourage, to uplift, to empower. That's my story. That is my purpose, my gift, my, um, my duty on this earth. Now, you, it may be something different. But your struggles, they all have meanings. Your hardships, they all have a purpose. They may not be revealed today, but they soon will be revealed if you follow your course of life and you um, seek the assignment that is on your life. You matter. Um, and everything that you go through and you face, um, those things matter as well. I can say a lot of things, a lot of things that I went through, I made it harder for myself. And that also is a testimony to share with others. Um, a lot of things I made it harder for myself. Um, I sort of chose the path that I walked. Um, I'm not a victim of anything. Um, the things that I chose to do, I reaped what I sowed. So, yeah. So, I have to deal with that. But um, this video was to sort of test out this jaw a little bit. And also, just to encourage you just to keep going. In my case, my struggle and my hardship is... Um, I'm a living, 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 living testament, um, of God's grace and his mercy. Um, he loves me and he loves you too. Um, and you need to keep going. You need to keep striving. You need to keep putting your best foot forward. If you're not already, um, whatever decisions or mistakes you made yesterday, three minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, it doesn't matter. Let's move forward with, um, putting our best foot forward. I've made a ton of mistakes and I still make mistakes, but my mistakes do not define me. I don't care what anybody has to say. I don't care if you bring up something that happened five, 10, 15 years ago. My mistakes do not define me just because I done that thing. It does not mean that I am that thing. Um, so same for you, whatever it is that you've done, you know, um, the best, I, I feel like the best ministry and the best worship to God is to show him, um, that you've changed and not do the same thing over and over the same with an apology. If you apologize to somebody 12 times for the same thing, mm, it really don't mean much, but if you apologize and then you make strides, um, going forward to be better and do better, it has a whole different meaning. So again, your life has purpose. You have purpose. You're awesome. You're wonderful. Um, and I love you and I want you to love you and to 
consider your duty and your purpose on this earth as a priority. Yeah, we have all this other stuff, our jobs, our kids, our marriage, whatever, taking care of parents. Those things all matter, but you matter as well. And I want you to have an amazing week. I'm still getting better with this job, but it'll be all right. I love you all. Take care. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Um, during the interview process with um, my potential client, um, I never felt um, any type of insecurity or anything. I didn't feel beat down or scared or any type of anxiety. And the reason for this is because I have started to get to know myself um, and I have developed ways to eliminate that big gray cloud that forms when it's time to interview or um, I'm proposed um, with the new opportunity. And the reason why that dark cloud comes up is because like, oh my God, somebody else has more experience. Oh my God, I, it's a competition. But uh -uh, I don't think like that. I do not have a competitive spirit. I have never had a competitive spirit. That's why I don't like sales because I did not want to deal with one up in someone else or um, having to combat and I, I, I just don't like that. And it has worked wonders for me. One reason is because I solely believe what is for me, I will get. Now, I'm gonna make sure I'm prepared. I'm gonna make sure I put my best foot forward. I'm gonna make sure that I give it my all, you know, try your best, no regrets thing. Um, I live by that, I swear by that. So I didn't feel any type of insecurity when it came to interviewing and I didn't feel any type of insecurity um, for sharing my life experiences, my failures, my my accomplishments, because I am who I am and I've been through what I've been through and I still am, yeah, all that. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, you do your best. Don't feel like um, you're less than comparing yourself to other people. That competitive spirit can will all will always have you trying to one up someone else, and will always somehow, some way, creep in um, insecurities and have you feeling like you're not enough because you're constantly comparing. There will always be someone who is smarter, always someone who's pretty, always be someone who has more money. So for me, the competitive spirit is just not me in me. It's not something that I glorify. I do the best that I can for me. Um, the best that I can within me. I try to polish myself and get myself, um, prepared the best that I can. And that's all that I can do. And that is my peace. Um, I just wanted to share that and let you all know I sort of got off track and it slipped my mind, but I felt like that was pertinent. So again, I love you all and bye for now. I'll talk to y'all soon. Love you.